Hi, it's Mike from MMB Air Gun Review. I'd like to take a brief moment to thank each and every one of you for watching this channel and to wish everyone out there a very safe, healthy, and prosperous new year. Without you, there is no YouTube channels, so you are greatly appreciated. If you get a chance, hit that like button, subscribe, share, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all the new videos, product reviews, and whatever else this channel's coming out with. Um, I try to put stuff out almost on a daily basis, so um, I want to keep it going. You are the key to that, and you're greatly appreciated, guys. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, it's going to lead to many, many, many more, and like I said before, we're growing this channel together, and I love each and every one of you. Thanks. Hello and welcome to another episode of MNB Air Gun Review. As promised, something I've been very excited about, my Springfield XDM 4.5 blowback CO2 BB pistol arrived today from evic.com. Um, I placed this order, I don't know, probably a week ago. They shipped it right out, and uh, the longest was just waiting for the uh, mail system to get it to me. Evic. Thank you for shipping so quickly. It's greatly appreciated. I know you were overwhelmed over the holiday season, so it means a lot to me that this got to me in time. So, this is an air pistol that uh, I have wanted for a long time. Um, I've seen a lot of mixed reviews on this, but I wanted this one particularly for the realism that it appears to have um, based on other reviews and YouTube channels. Um, now... The quality of the gun as far as the accuracy of shooting varies from poor to extremely high, depending on who you're listening to. We'll cross that bridge at another time, but today is going to be the unboxing and first initial impressions and uh, maybe some build quality. Bear with me, I don't have my spectacles today, so um, I may be squinting a little bit, but um, let's go down this path and see what we got just literally arrived not a half an hour ago so I'm just I, I just jumped on to get this video up because I promised I'd do it and I felt like I was a little bit behind in, in uploading this video but so, let's just hope that everything is right and it's the right color and yes it's outside the box it is anyhow and there we have it. I can tell you right now it's a, definitely a hefty gun for sure. So let's unbox this together. So we got a nice manual. Very thick manual actually. You know it's funny when you do reviews and somebody opens up a manual and they just kind of toss it to the side. It's uh, some quality actually went into the manual itself too. It, that tells me a lot about the gun. Color pictures. Um, I'm one of the few that will probably take the time to actually read this, but, uh, yeah, right there. And what do we have over here? This is an empty slot over here, nothing in it, just a spacer. I take it that they use probably the same insert for their, for their smaller one with the uh, extended mag, and that would be your uh, accessories for that. Well, I can tell you right now that this is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if that's uh, focusing or not, but that is absolutely a phenomenal. Right down to the uh, fiber optic sights. Very, very, very nice. Okay. What else we got here? We got our trusty Allen key. Probably hundreds of those by now. Um, we got a couple different back straps that it comes with, which I'm sure if you've seen these before, we know it comes with that. Change your grip, how it feels. And a very heavy, heavy magazine that is about as close to real as I've ever seen. And has the double stack pattern on it, just like the original. So, let's get this tape off. Put this here. Let's see exactly what we're working with here. Oh, okay. Very nice. Very nice. 
Look at that. Rack's nice too. It is an authentic sounding, authentic racking BB pistol. Very, very nice. Backstrap safety works. Very nice. I can tell you right now I'm going to want to change the back strap on this simply because it doesn't fit my hand perfectly. I'm going to want to bring this out a little bit more because my hands tend to tuck in a little bit better. But uh, it does have the dual grip on the slide, front and rear, which is nice. Cock, shoot. Very nice. Okay, let's, uh, let's check out the mag release. It's not a spring-loaded one, I don't believe. Could be wrong. It is spring. And it falls out nicely, as you can see. Definitely spring release. Very, 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 very nice. I love the sights. They look... Wow. Yeah, that's nice. The fiber optic on this has really done really well. Okay. So, well, we got that. Let's, um, let's load it up and see what that process entails. I take it it's this clip right here. I have not, I have not done this type before personally. So let's see. Okay, so you just use your fingernail, pop that down, slide that over. And then we must use the Allen key. There we are. Super realistic magazine, guys. Super realistic. We're going to take some of our uh, Pelagon oil and we're going to put a little bit here. We're going to pop that in there like so. I'm going to sit this down here. And hopefully we don't lose a lot of CO2. Actually, let me put this in. Here with me guys, like I said, I don't have my... I'm just going to tighten it up till it gets a little firm, like so. And then what I do is I put the other end in, make sure it's seated firmly, and then... I believe that's seated. I didn't lose a drop. Amazing. Okay, so my apologies. Um, I was actually just doing this wrong. Um, should have had my glasses on. So what it does is it slides down. The clip on the bottom does nothing. It's the one on the top, and it slides down. In the slide here itself, where the spring is, they don't give you a little opening to pop the BB in that we would think. So one might get this and think they have to load it from the top or whatever. It, it doesn't work that way. Um, it, it actually gets, you can't see it, but it gets a little wider down here, and then the BB pops right in. So you'd slide it dot, top all the way down. I have it loaded right now. It's full of BBs. But... Um, and then you release it. So you're just going to need a fingernail. This part is not broken right here, but I can see how easily that might get broken if that comes up with any force. So be very careful of that. Make sure you got a good positive lock on that. Um, so this is now loaded. And we're going to do go out and do some shooting with this for next time. Um, I think we can slide this right back on this way here. I don't know if we can do it while it's on the gun. I'm, I'm sure we can. Let's see why not, right? I think everything needs to be kind of worked in here a little bit. Well, let's see how easy this bottom... I probably didn't even need to take this all the way off, but I did. No, okay. Yeah, you just got to make sure it's lined up right. And a lot of realism, guys. Once again, that's the Springfield Armory. 4.5 blowback trademarked CO2 BB pistol. Um, and if you look at the markings on the side, this thing is about as real as you're going to find. It doesn't, there's no clunking, I think. Yeah, there's no clunking to this. There's very quality piece. The slide is very nice. Everything's really, really nice on this. And it does have a, it is serial numbered with a unique serial number. Great piece. Um, hopefully we can get out and shoot this soon. I'll try to get something done today if I can. If not, we'll do it next time. But we caught the initial boxing. I'll have a better tabletop review here shortly, but I wanted to get this out to you. Please hit that like button, share, subscribe. Um, trying to get the news of this channel out a little bit. It did help me out a lot. And uh, we're going to have a lot of different, you know, air guns and, um, and also airsoft guns coming up. Um, I got a lot of orders in right now, just waiting on them to arrive and 
if you have any suggestions or something you'd like to see reviewed as far as the airsoft world or the air gun world goes, let me know. Um, some of the purchases I'm going to be making are pretty pricey, um, but I want to make sure it's worth it for you guys, you know, if, if, if there's something out there. Uh, maybe some um, some gas blowback um, rifles in the, for the airsoft community, stuff like that. Uh, one I'm working on getting right now is the uh, Shaytech intervention system. One of the old ones that uh, that uh, a lot of people hated those guns because the accuracy was so bad and they really didn't have a high feet per second. Um, I want one for the aesthetics of it. I want one just, just for the collection. I think they're an amazing looking gun. Um, I'm trying to get one at a discounted price right now. I'd love to buy one from Evike if I could get one. But I don't know if I what version I want to go with. I mean, you have the SOCOM version and then you have the, which is very, very expensive. Um, is it practical enough, you know? And then there's a few other versions that are out there too. So I don't know if I want to go with the CO2 version or, or what. I don't know. Maybe you guys can recommend one what you would think. Um, now I know they're not accurate, guys. I, that's been a